Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hack Shudder here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in this incredible web hacking series, today we have the XXE injection and in the previous lab we have already solved this particular one that is exploiting XXE using external entities to retrieve files. So previously we have retrieved some files, okay, that is the etc password. And now what we are going to do is we are going to perform an SSRF attack using the XXE. Okay, so let us see how it works. Uh, obviously, it is very, very, very simple. Okay, but within this lab, there is a little bit a kind of uh, different extended challenge that they are asking. Of course, that's not a big deal, but uh, yeah, that's how uh, we will have to do. Uh, let me open the lab in a new tab. Meanwhile, this lab has a check stock feature that parses XML input and returns an unexpected value in the response. All right. We know that already the lab server is running a EC2 metadata endpoint at the default URL, which is so we have that particular URL where I mean the IP address of that particular EC2 metadata where exactly it is running and this endpoint can be used to retrieve data about the instance some of which might be sensitive all right to solve the lab exploit the xxe vulnerability to perform ssrf attack that obtains the server's iam secret access key okay from the ec2 metadata endpoint all right so this is our task so our task is not accessing this directly uh, here you you can simply see that uh, rather than putting that particular file uh, slash slash this etc password we can directly put this one uh, that's that we already know but they are asking about the about something which is uh, a, a iam secret key okay so anyway let us go here and without any delay let us click on that stock check feature and let's play with it yeah i have clicked it and go to the proxy http history and i think this is the one this is yeah this is the one take this to the repeater and uh, yeah let me hit on send once and we have the previous tab here i mean i have already written everything so let me copy this thing just copy and yeah here enter and paste it over here so now the point is we need to replace this okay uh, with this particular url so this is that particular URL, control C and sorry here, control V. All right. So we have replaced it right here. And now the point is we need to call this. Okay. Even if you forget to call this, it won't happen. Okay. Just like this. And uh, uh, here there is a stock check. You can either put a stock check or you can also put anything else as well and the names are completely uh, left to us whatever we put it will be there okay just hit on send and oh now if you can see it says invalid product product id but there is something called latest okay so this is a particular one uh, like uh, this is the next following directory okay so let us put this particular latest right here and hit on send again and now if you can see it says metadata okay just copy it and paste it over here again hit on send and again i a m mm, again put it over here hit on send and again security credentials copy slash paste hit on send and again admin copy uh, slash paste hit on send and uh, xml parse exist with error all right all right i think this is an error okay uh, we remote this double quotations we forgot just hit on send again and yeah now we saw that secret access key okay so this is that particular one is there any where that we, we have to submit it no is it like that i am secret key 
just refresh it and yeah it says solved so congratulations you have solved the lab so this is how it is so this is how simple you can perform a ssrf attack uh, using the xml injection okay congratulations and have a great day bye bye